This is page 314, and we want to describe what is hypoxia, and then describe the four categories of hypoxia. The word hypoxia literally means low oxygen, hypoxia, low oxygen. It is a deficiency of oxygen reaching the tissue cells of the body. We divide hypoxia into four categories. The first is called hypoxic hypoxia. Basically, it is due to a decreased amount of oxygen in the lungs, in the alveoli of the lungs. Because there's less than the normal amount of oxygen in the lungs, that results in a decrease in oxygen content in the blood. Thus, the name hypoxemia, low oxygen in the blood. Basically, you get hypoxic hypoxia or hypoxemia anytime there's a respiratory problem, creating a state of hypoventilation. What are some examples of hypoxic hypoxia or hypoxemia? Pulmonary diseases such as bronchial asthma, emphysema, tuberculosis. Another cause would be breathing at high altitudes. In this case, it's not because somebody's lungs are uh, having a problem breathing, but the thinner air, the less oxygen at high altitudes results in lower levels of uh, oxygen in the alveoli and therefore less oxygen in the bloodstream. The third cause of hypoxic hypoxia or hypoxemia is uh, where the person is hypoventilating, breathing less than normal because of depression of the respiratory center. This can be caused by many CNS depressant drugs, drugs that slow down the respiratory center, causing an abnormal decrease in breathing. This happens with, uh, when people take an overdose of sleeping medication or sedatives. Also, narcotic pain relievers can depress the respiratory center, uh, leading to uh, this problem. A second type of hypoxia is called anemic hypoxia. Anemic hypoxia is when there is less oxygen being carried by the red blood cells than normal. This can be a result of either low hemoglobin content in the red blood cells or a decreased number of red blood cells. Examples of anemic hypoxia include hemorrhaging, that means bleeding. If somebody is bleeding and the blood's gushing out of their body, then their red blood cells, their total number of red blood cells is decreasing and they have less a capacity to carry oxygen in their blood. Another type of anemic hypoxia is pernicious anemia. This is a vitamin B12 or cyanocobalamin deficiency. Therefore, the red blood cells have a lower amount of hemoglobin uh, inside the red blood cells, and therefore they carry less oxygen than normal. Another cause of anemic hypoxia is sickle cell anemia. In sickle cell anemia, this is a genetic inability to make normal hemoglobin. The uh, hemoglobin that is produced in people with this genetic disease is an abnormal form of hemoglobin that carries less oxygen than normal hemoglobin does. It's known as hemoglobin S rather than the normal hemoglobin A found in normal red blood cells. Another cause of anemic hypoxia is carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a toxic gas. It is produced at a, by cars, it comes out the exhaust pipe of cars. Carbon monoxide binds irreversibly to hemoglobin. That means once it attaches to the hemoglobin, it doesn't let go, it can't be gotten rid of. When carbon monoxide binds the hemoglobin, that's called carbon monoxyhemoglobin. The more carbon monoxide that attaches irreversibly to the hemoglobin, the less able the hemoglobin is to carry or transport oxygen in the bloodstream. So if the hemoglobin has all this carbon monoxide attached to it, and it's therefore carrying less oxygen, that again creates a condition of anemic hypoxia. On page 315, a third category of hypoxia is ischemic hypoxia. Ischemic hypoxia is caused by a decrease in blood flow. So the blood is not flowing normally, and therefore there is less delivery of oxygen to the tissues of the body. This happens with a hypotension. A hypotension is a drop in blood pressure. It is the blood pressure that pushes the blood through the vessels of the body. When the blood pressure drops, 
That leads to slowing down of blood flow and ischemic hypoxia. Another cause of ischemic hypoxia is heart failure. If the heart ejects less blood than normal, in other words, a decrease in cardiac output, if there is an arrhythmia of the heart, uh, the, uh, if the heart is failing in any way, uh, therefore it is pumping less uh, blood through the vessels of the body than normal, and that results in reduced delivery of oxygenated blood to the tissues. Another cause of ischemic hypoxia is a blood clot. A thrombosis, a blood clot that forms in a vessel, obstructs the flow of blood, or an embolism. An embolism is a dislodged blood clot. It originated one place in the body. It got dislodged. It is carried in the bloodstream to somewhere else in the body where it obstructs or blocks the flow of blood uh, to some tissue of the body, reducing the delivery of oxygenated blood. All of these are examples of ischemic hypoxia. The fourth category is called histotoxic hypoxia. Well, it has the word toxic in it, which means poison. In histotoxic hypoxia, the problem is cellular respiration isn't occurring. In this case, oxygen is available, but it can't be utilized by the cells of the body for cellular respiration because cellular respiration is not occurring as normal. An example of something that causes that is cyanide poisoning. Cyanide is an enzyme inhibitor, and cyanide inhibits an enzyme needed in cellular respiration, preventing cellular respiration from occurring. So in this case, in histotoxic hypoxia, the lungs are working okay, the red blood cells are carrying oxygen okay, the heart is pumping oxygen okay, but the cells of the body have been poisoned and are unable to use that oxygen in cellular respiration to make ATP. In summarizing these four types of hypoxia, hypoxic hypoxia or hypoxemia, the basic problem is a breathing problem. In the second category, anemic hypoxia, the lungs are working okay, but the blood, the red blood cells, are not able to carry the normal amount of oxygen in the bloodstream. In the third category, ischemic hypoxia, the lungs are working okay, the red blood cells are carrying the normal amount of oxygen in the bloodstream, but the problem is the blood is not flowing through the vessels of the body like it should. And in the fourth category, cellular respiration isn't occurring. In the fourth case, the lungs are breathing okay, the blood is carrying the oxygen, the heart is pumping that oxygenated blood through the vessels of the body, but the cells of the body are not able to utilize the oxygen. Obviously, depending upon what the underlying cause of hypoxia is, that will determine what the appropriate treatment should be. If you're wondering, could one have more than one type of hypoxia simultaneously? The answer is yes.